Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. This is your girl, the expert on living van life as a vanini vanista. Somebody had left a comment. I don't know if it was on Tiny Home Tours channel or uh this channel, and they were saying that I instead of being a fashionista. I was a vanista. I think that's how you say that. But anyway, y'all, I don't think I'm, you know, y'all, I be looking like a hobo half the time. <laughs> I be looking like a hobo half the time, y'all. I'm wiping my face because I just got through filming this video and I was crying, girl. I am a crybaby. But anyway, how is y'all doing today? Come on in. Thumbs up the video if you are my friend. And you guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please hit the notification bell. Hit always so you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So y'all, I'm coming to y'all with a lot of talking videos explaining stuff trying to encourage you guys and even though i live in my van you guys i don't really do a whole 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 lot of traveling because of my finances and stuff is expensive and you know right now i'm boondocking in perump i came down here to meet bob wells and he did a van tour on my van and it's gonna be up on his channel like in january or something like that y'all so uh, I just stay down here. I just, you know, sometimes you just have to sit still and you're going to learn that in van life. But that'll be another video. I am here to talk to y'all about something else today. And I want to talk to you about saving yourself a lot of time and a lot of money. And you're going to say, Vanessa, how I'm going to save myself some time and how I'm going to save myself some money. And I don't even have a van yet. Girl, listen to me. I'm about to tell you, you know, I, you already know I know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm about to tell you, girl, just listen, just listen, just listen. Calm down and listen and let me tell you how to take, save some time and some money. Uh. Because I made mistakes in van life, but I can promise you I didn't make as many as I would have made if I wouldn't have did what I told you to do. So I'm trying to help you, girl, boy, whoever. Because, you know, I'm just assuming all ladies watching me, but I know it. I know it ain't. I know it's some men watching me, too. I know it's some men out there saying, doggone it. She, look at what she did. To, I couldn't have did that. How she did that? I'm here to help everybody. I'm here to help the men, the women, the boys, the girls. If you need some help, I'm going to help you. So, but you got to listen. You got to, you got to learn how to take some advice, especially when you don't know what you're doing. You got to listen. <laughs> Y'all, I'm crazy. Don't pay me no never mind, y'all. I'm crazy. I hope y'all get the gist of my sense of humor and my comedy. And I, I, child, I be keeping myself entertained over here. This is how you keep from going crazy <laughs> when you be by yourself all the time. You got to laugh, girl. You got to laugh. Every opportunity I get, I'm laughing. I'm smiling. I'm happy. Sometimes I'm crying. And after I cry, because I just got through crying a few minutes ago, you wipe them tears and then you come back and you laugh after that okay so anyway y'all i want to talk to y'all about how to save yourself some time and some money now i really i really need y'all to take this serious because this is my motto this is how i learned everything that i needed to learn about van life this is how i prepared for van life this is how i kept myself motivated while i was waiting on God to bless me with the money to get a van. This is how I kept myself focused and I kept my eyes on the prize. See, you need to keep your eyes on the prize. The prize is when you get it, but you don't know when you're going to get it, but you still need to keep your eyes on the prize. Preparation is half the battle. Preparation. So, 
How you're going to save yourself a lot of time and money in van life, especially after you get your van life, is because of the preparation that you did before you got your van, before you got your money. You watched all these videos. You got you a notepad. Girl, I had me a notepad. I had me a notepad. I was taking notes. I learned about engines. I learned about the length of the van, the width of the van. Do you want an extended van? Do you want, if you could get you an extended van for the same amount of money, you could get a regular length van, get an extended van. Look for extended vans. The extended vans is going to give you about two feet to three feet more room than a regular van. So if you can at all possible, even though you probably be like, you know what, if I could just get a van, it don't matter how long it is. But believe me, them three, them two to three feet going to make a big difference. So try to get you an extended van if at all possible. If you got enough money and you got it like that, get you a high top. If you got it like that. But if you don't have it like that, just, you know, you're going to make it. You're going to make it in a van like this. You see, I'm sitting up here. I'm looking all cute. And I'm actually warm in my van right now. I'm not saying, ooh, y'all, I'm cold. Because, girl, I got two burners on back there right now. And it's about a, probably 120-something degrees up in here. <laughs> it's probably about 120-something degrees in here. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Hold on. I don't lie, y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. If it's 120 degrees up in here. Let's see. I got my two burners on back there, y'all. Y'all see them two burners on? Ooh, child. I wouldn't lie. It's 122 degrees. I ain't know it was that warm. But see, y'all, back here, it be hotter back here because, you know, it's the heat is back here. So up here, it's not as warm. I wish it was, you know, I wish it was warm like that over here. But, you know, the heat is coming over here, but it ain't coming so over here as much. that's just a little sneak peek of how I stay warm in my van, you guys. Uh, but I just want to encourage y'all to be able to save you some time and some money in van life. And that is preparation. Watch as many YouTube videos. Find the person that you jail with that you like, that speaks to you, speaks to your style, speaks to your train of thought. And start watching them and, and find a couple of other people and just randomly watch YouTube videos, type different things that you know, what you, what you want to do in your van. Do you want to learn how to transition from van life to home life? Watch that. Sit, type that in and watch several people transitioning from home life to van life. Then you watch this and you know, some people, YouTube channels or some people just live in van life. And they're just traveling and they're not informative. Some channels, they don't make content showing you how to do this or how to do that because that's not their niche. Everybody has a different niche. So watch different people for different things. Watch other people for the travel experience. Watch other people for the DIYs, the 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 how to hook up electricity and watch all of it. Time is of the essence. You have nothing but time and opportunity on your hands right now while you are looking, waiting and praying. So, this is how you're going to save yourself so much time and so much money when you get your van don't wait till you get to your van to start doing your research. Do your research now so when you get your van, you will be ready to go. Start purging now. Start having garage sales now. Start saving the money that you make from the garage sales. Start going to thrift stores, flea markets. You will be amazed at how much stuff you will find at thrift stores and flea markets that you could actually need for van life. 
start getting your propane tanks if you know you're gonna need prop if you want to have a gas stove in your van and believe me even if you have a small gas stove or even if you have a one burner gas stove it's still better to get the big propane tanks those little green small prop propane tanks one of them propane tanks costs more than what it costs for me to pay to get uh, propane in Houston. In Houston, my propane costs $11. Out of town right now, my propane is $2. But if I was in Houston, I, my big old thing of propane is $11. And I have two propane tanks in my van. I have one in the back that I'm actually using. And I have one under my cabinet right here for storage. When that runs out, I can switch it out. If I'm out somewhere boondocking, I can switch it out and wait till I come back in town to, uh, and wait till I come back in town and get it refilled. So start looking for stuff at flea markets and thrift stores that you don't have to pay full value for stuff. Right now, be thrift store shopping. Sell something at your garage sale and then go get that other and go get the other stuff that you need at a discount. I did that in real life and home life, y'all. When I got ready to get rid of something and I wanted some new clothes or whatever, I'd sell my old stuff and then I'd take that money and go get some new stuff. Ain't no shame in your game. You could it ain't, you know, it's good to donate stuff and give stuff to Goodwill, but and and Salvation Army, but when you are on a budget, you need to give back to yourself. Like you need to sell and have garage sales so you could get what else you need. You on a budget, so you have to realize that sometimes you had them garage sales. You still gonna have some stuff to donate to Goodwill and Salvation Army after the garage sales is over with. But y'all watch YouTube videos, come on this channel, and go back and watch my videos on everything I did. I have videos on me uh, doing my roof rack, cutting my hole in my ceiling for my max air fan uh i have videos on so much stuff and like i said in the previous video i went live all day every day while i was building out my van step-by-step -step instructions on almost everything i did in here my trials my errors my mistakes just everything i made some mistakes so if you watch my videos where I made mistakes and I learned from my mistakes, then you won't have to make the mistakes that I made, especially if you want to build this, your van in this floor plan. You won't have to make the same mistakes I made. I made mistakes. So watch the person videos that you are encouraged by and that you would like to adopt portions of their van bill, watch their videos to learn from their mistakes if they were honest enough to show you their mistakes because some people just make these videos and they just show you the outcome of the item. They don't show you, they don't go into detail to tell you how to do this. They don't tell you that they made a mistake. They don't tell you that this didn't work out. They, you know, learn from other people's mistakes and you're when you learn from other people's mistakes and you watch all these videos right now you're gonna save yourself time when you get your van you're gonna be ready to go you're gonna be ready to go you ain't gonna have to do your research after you get the van you already did all your research and now you ready to go girl you is ready to go you ready to get get just get everything you you been you've been buying stuff you've been selling stuff you've been stockpiling stuff you ready to go you got everything you need you done done your research and by that by you doing your research you're gonna save yourself time and you're gonna save yourself money you know how you're gonna save yourself money because you did your research and now you are not going to make as many mistakes. Now, even when you do your research, you still might make some mistakes because I did my research. I didn't know what I was doing. So I had to figure it out. So I had to make some mistakes to figure it out. And, but I'm trying to help you save more time and more money than I did. If you want to do, you know, my... 
closet. Ah, it this this look good now. But I made a couple of mistakes and I wasted some money because the product that I have here now on my doors, I tried another product first. That was about 60 or $80 that I spent on the other product. I wasted that money because I thought that that product was going to work and it didn't work out how I wanted it to. So I eventually ended up doing what I have now. But because I made the mistake, now you don't have to make the mistake that I made. And now you just can, you easy breezy, easy breezy peasy. You got it easy, girl. <laughs> I'm going to charge y'all for this information. And y'all need to become a member for $4.99 a month to support the channel, number one, and let me know that you appreciate this content. And number two, so you can unlock all of that, you know, all of that information on the live streams when I was live. So you could just sit back and you could binge watch that. It is so much information, you guys. Every single thing I did, every step by step instruction of how I did what I did. YouTube is your university. YouTube is your education. Anything that you want to know, type it, search it on YouTube, and you're going to find it. But you have to invest the time in it. Like I say, if y'all want something bad enough, I I could tell the people that want something bad enough. When you want something bad enough, you're going to do your research. You're going to watch 10, 15 videos on the same subject. Because everybody do stuff differently and everybody learn differently. So some videos that I would click on, every every content creator is not going to be for you. Some people, I click on their videos, I can't learn anything from them. Like, I don't like videos when I'm looking for something to teach me how to do something. I don't like videos that don't talk, that don't tell me. They just play the music and have the subtitles up there. I can't learn like that. I need you to show me what well, you do this and you do that. And that's why I, when I make videos, I talk to y'all to tell y'all what is being done because I don't learn like that. I can't, when I go to a video and they not talking, I click right off of it. I click right off of it and I go find me another video where somebody is talking. So what you need to do is watch multiple videos because one person might be more give more clarification than the next person. And one thing about watching videos on YouTube is I love you guys watching YouTube videos and learning whatever I need to learn because you could stop it. You could pause it. You could try it. Or you could take your notes. You could rewind it. And if you got to watch something 10 times before you get it, it is better to watch YouTube videos than to bother somebody else and ask them how to do something. And then you're a slow learner and you and you got they got to keep repeating themselves. So just learn it from YouTube. Rewind it as many nobody else needs to know. You rewinded that video a hundred times, girl. <laughs> I might rewind the video a hundred times. I'm going to. I'm going to rewind it as many times as I need to rewind it to get it. I'm going to watch it as many times as I need to watch it to get it. And ain't no shame in my game and don't nobody need to know. And anyway, the more you watch the video and rewind it, it's helping that person. They getting more watch time. You watching more ads. So ain't nobody, girl, ain't nobody complaining about you rewinding no video over and over and over again. Watch it as many times as you need to watch it to get the gist of it, to understand it. And even if you watch it now and then you need to watch it again to refresh your memory when, when you get your van, at least you will have more of a knowledge coming into it. Don't wait till you get your van to get the knowledge. Start getting the knowledge now. That's going to keep you 
motivated. That's going to keep your dream from dying. You watching these videos, you staying busy, you learning stuff. That's going to make you want it even more because you are getting to not the knowledge to know how to do it. And that knowledge is preparing you for when you get it. So you get, you, you, you go to the YouTube university. You go to the Vanessa University, learn from me, watch the videos. And if you want something that bad enough, you guys, you invest in this. I know some of y'all probably saying, well, why should I have to pay $4.99 to watch the live streams? Well, that's, I have them on members only. But if it's not worth it to you to pay $4.99 a month to watch those videos, then if it's not worth it to you to pay that, then maybe you don't want it that bad. But you don't, I mean, you don't have to pay for my memberships to get the information. You can go watch somebody else's videos. But I'm just saying, if it's not whatever it is, if it's not worth it to you, if the time to go watch them other people's videos, if it's not worth your time to watch it, then you don't want it that bad. If you want it bad enough, you will take the time to watch the videos. Whether it's my videos or somebody else's videos, you will take the time to watch as many videos on all the different subjects. You're going to build your van out. And then saving, you know, when I said also how to save you your, yourself some time and some money in van life. You watching these videos and learning how to do this stuff yourself going to save you so much money. You got money to pay somebody else to build this for you? You take the money that you was going to pay somebody else to do this stuff for you and you buy your tools. That way, even after you get your van built, I'm just spitting y'all. That way, even after you get your van built, you will have your tools to fix anything that breaks y'all. I got my tools with me. If I need to to nail something with my nail gun, I got it. If I need to saw something, I got it. If I need to drill something, I got it. And believe me, you're going to always have little DIY projects around your home. You are going to need your tools. That's going to be another video. That is it. That is all, you guys. Remember, you can save yourself time and money by going to the YouTube university and watching all these helpful videos that so many content creators have put out here to be able to help you have it easier than they did thanks so much for watching i hope this video was helpful encouraging and motivating let me know in the comments bar below if it was helpful let me know in the comments bar below how it was helpful to you and let me know in the co uh, comments bar below your plan of action to help save you time and money you got the information what are you going to do with the information put it into action. I want you to put it into action. Write it down in the comments bar below so that way you're typing it out and you will put it into action and not just say it, but do it. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching the videos and letting me know how much you appreciate me making the videos. So again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel in any shape, form, or fashion, all my information is down in the description box below. And I will have all of my contributors, supporters, and members at the end of the video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> child somebody say i like your laugh vanessa thank you girl <laughs> thank you talk to y'all later
sit here all day, you guys. Beautiful. you doing, Vanessa? <laughs> 